Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now, first off, I'm hoping that my voice is sounding a little bit better. I've been tweaking my microphone settings quite a bit. So we're going to see by the end of this episode, I'm going, I want you guys feedback to tell me whether or not it sounds better or not. It might not. I mean, I, I might have made it worse. I don't know. No, I don't think I made it worse. I think if anything, it's a little bit better. Might still need some more tweaking, but you know, in all, do doing good time. So, first off, let's take a look at some of our resources here. Um, I did a little bit of uh, AFKing because we have the resource production for a lot of things we just i don't have the time to wait for all this to just you know build while we play i i need it in a little bit like a, a faster pace so the main thing was quartz so i want to show you this nether quartz real quick um we've been producing that off of uh Mainly this setup here. It was mainly this setup here making quartz. I have it making clay now. Um, and the reason for that is if we come over here like this and then we do this. You can see I made a, a guardian farm. And if we take a look in here, you'll see we're getting the guardian stuff. And if you guys didn't know, if you crush... Guardian crystals, um, this prism prismarine crystals in the in the wheels here, it actually drops quartz at a at a quick eh, a pretty quick pace. Um, this is the rest of my create stuff. Uh, I did die in this wheel once. That's why I'm being careful. But we have. It's all still being produced off this one electric motor. And I'm just piggybacking it through here. And then I used a uh, rotation speed controller. To, you know, speed this. Speed this up. Uh, this is as fast as I can get it. If I go any faster, it breaks. And then gearbox to swap the rotation of this. But, um. I think that's pretty much all I've done off camera. Um. But besides this, um, I get worried leaving that on because those spawn really quick. So besides those guardians there, I also added this guy, which is also doing the prismarine crystals. So this is completely self-aware, making the prediction matrix set up just the same way everything else is. And yeah, I mean, we're, we're producing quite a bit of a... Uh, of course now, which is good. Now, the one reason why I wanted so much quartz, which, I mean, might be obvious to some of you, but the infinite storage disk. So if we start in here, we're still missing a lot of sand, but we're making steady progress towards it. Another thing we're going to need is a lot more um, string, which is, I have the recipe for this. So this is all we're waiting on now is uh, 77,000 more sand. It's not, it's not too much. Um, I might even have that in my backpack. I don't know. Probably not. Um, I don't have that, uh, this in a compressed form. I really wish I did. Then I could just slap it on there. Let's, uh, let's do that anyways real quick. So I know some of you, not not all of you, because I know I have some, I have uh, some newer modded Minecraft viewers. Um, lock that. Some of you might be able to tell what we're doing today based off of the items in my inventory. Um, I say some, cause a lot of you might know but a lot of you might not that's not what we wanted uh 
crapola. All right. Oh, nice. We broke in it and it got rid of it. So we want the one in there first. Because if we put one in, we can put two and then we can put three. We'll slap her back down. Um, add it back in. Now we should be able to see all that additional sand. It's probably still nowhere near. Oh, it doesn't even break down because it doesn't know that these are normal sand. Sick. Love that. Let's, um, I have one last trick to try. Uh, put the one in there, throw the two in there. Boom. How about now? Now it should recognize it, I do believe. Okay, says we have a little bit more. Still need a hell of a lot more. But it's progress. So that's the next thing I'll work on off camera is sand. And string. Um, actually. Come on. Fans are still going. We can turn this one on. And this one's spiders. We'll leave this one going. The problem is, I, I don't think I have that one set up to stay on while I'm not near it. Oh, no, they're still going. I should have stopped by now, I think. My little boat. Okay. This. So. This setup is going to be a little bit more complicated. So my goal for this episode. Is to. So here's the thing. If we look in here. The Nexium emitter requires the solar recharging unit. Which requires these polonium pellets. Which if we look in here. It is a uh, polonium and there was water yeah water polonium is made in a solar neutron activator nuclear waste into polonium how do we get nuclear waste well we get that in a fission reactor and what do you burn in a fission reactor you might ask well you burn fissile fuel so how do we get uh fissile fuel well i I don't know about that one, but this way, this is the way we're doing all of these machines here. will get that done for us. Um, now I've never actually done this, so I am going to be going based off of a, uh, a video that I saw. So I'm going to have to pull that up and we will set it up. Actually, I'll go on the mechanism wiki. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's play around a little bit, shall we? So first, we want a sink. From the sink, we want an electrolytic separator, right? Uh, okay, nothing's in here. From that, we want a pressurized reaction chamber i don't know why these have power i guess from seeing in my inventory my wireless charging powered them all uh the chemical oxidizer is going to go on top of this and then we want a chemical infuser followed up by another chemical infuser and then we want a rotary a rotary condensator um, then what is that? I think that's this guy. Chemical dissolution chamber followed up by a chemical oxidizer, maybe? No, no, that's wrong. That guy goes here. 
uh, an infuser, and then this. Oh, shit. I made a few of these. The tutorial I followed only wanted one. Um, and then from there, we could put it in this basic old chemical tank. But let's get uh, going. A lot of these need water. Like this guy. This guy definitely needs water. Bam. He has water. We gotta dump this excess hydrogen because we need the oxygen. Um, we gotta get the oxygen into this guy. There's also a lot of uh, refined storage stuff. I have to run the cables down here. I wanted to run them down here for this guy anyways to um, auto output coal coke from here and auto input it in the here as well as iron and stuff i know we don't need the steel that way but a completely automated steel wouldn't be such a bad idea but okay this guy i believe also needs water so if we take a look under here i'm gonna remove the floor from like all of these guys until we're done uh, I'm not sure if there's covers or anything. Like I said, uh, I believe it was the last episode. I'm not looking for pretty. I'm looking for function. So, you know, we'll make stuff look pretty as we go on further, but let's worry about that after shit works. <laughs> um, okay. wrong go here we also need to extract the water from here okay water oxygen and something else goes in this guy say coal coal makes the sulfur dust okay so we need um an exporter X order. We also need a ton of cable. So we need that guy. Okay. Um, where can we pull this out of? We have it right over here, don't we? We should. Okay. Let's... Ooh, that's um, quite the predicament we got. Regardless, let's just keep going. Hello. Okay. The water, I'm not too concerned about, to be honest with you. It's not going to break my cable. Boom. Okay. Uh, what do we need in here? We need coal. So we export the coal into this guy. It's obviously going to use the power, and I'm obviously going to come through here and do all of our energy upgrades after the fact. But, um... Yes. The sulfur dust then needs to be... Items need to output on the top. Actually, let's... The front, we want to input. Top, we want to output. We output the sulfur dust into the chemical oxidizer. I can't remember if this guy needs water also. I don't believe so.
basically the sulfur just makes the sulfur dioxide in here. Sulfur dioxide comes into this chemical infuser here. I believe this chemical infuser does, however, need the water. Um, uh, well, we need orange on the bottom. Right, this guy needed water. Pretty sure. Transporter config. Items, energy, gases. Okay. Oh, no, this guy needs... This guy needs oxygen as well. So, how are we going to fix this issue? I believe we can just put... The water into the back of that guy take this out of here like so okay good good um still gases bottom orange input doesn't look like it's inputting Sulfur dioxide. What am I missing? Oxygen and sulfur dioxide. Maybe they have to be swapped around. Um, gases. Input orange, input red. Is there a way to dump this? Hmm. I don't know how to dump this now, but we do. We needed the oxygen here. Upgrades, maybe. All right, how about this? We, uh... How do we get you out? Why are you still in there to begin with? What the heck? Uh, okay, well, if we make another chemical infuser. Before we make the same mistake, let's gases. Okay, we want what we want. Oxygen, sulfur, make sulfur trioxide. So orange is the sulfur dioxide. So right. Okay. I uh, don't believe we want hydrogen. We want oxygen. Man. Why does it keep doing this? Alright. Moving on. 
This guy also needs water. Right. What are we going to be putting in here? Um, why'd that thing just come at me like that? A little bastard. All right, let me start hooking up power. Um, obviously, how how are we gonna do the power? I have this set up a complete mess right now. Can I? Okay, how about this? We want mechanical pipe like so. Pressurized tube like so. Um. Obviously, uh. I'm trying to stick to all mechanism stuff. So if you guys copy this setup. You know what? Let me figure this stuff out off camera. I will bring you back once I have this done. Because my brain hurts. Alright. Sometime later. We are up and running. We are making. Uh, fissile fuel. Yeah. Look at this. Alright. So. This is the setup. Let's get into it, because it was confusing. All right, we're making water. The water is coming into the electrolytic separator, making hydrogen and oxygen. We're pulling oxygen out to the bottom, putting it into the pressurized reaction chamber with water and coal and crafting sulfur. The sulfur dust is then made into sulfur dioxide, which is then put into our machine here, which is also receiving oxygen. So we might need another machine in here. And then it's making um, something here. Crap, there's so many chemicals I don't remember. Uh, what is it making? Sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide is then put into here. You see sulfur trioxide with water vapor. So we're making water vapor with the rotary condensator toggled to deconcentrating yeah, water into water vapor, which the water vapor is then put into here with sulfur trioxide and made into sulfuric acid, which is then pulled out and put in to our chemical dissolution chamber with fluorite, which you can get from mining. With that, uh, let's see, you make hydrofluoric acid, which is then put into a chemical infuser on one side with uranium oxide made in a chemical oxidizer with yellow cake uranium, which is uranium made into yellow cake uh, in an enriching factory. So, if we go back upstairs real quick. We have an ultimate enriching factory, which we made when we automated mechanism. And every time that machine needs a yellow cake uranium, you see here, it takes one uranium ingot, makes it into two yellow cake. Super easy, which... We, uh, we have plenty of uranium. We're almost at a million. It's time we start using some of it, don't you think? So, with all of that, you have the yellow uranium making uranium oxide. You have all of this making 
Something here. See? What is it making? Sulfuric acid with fluorite. And to here, the hydrofluoric acid, the uranium oxide, they mix. They make uranium hexafluoride. And the isotopic centrifuge makes fissile fuel. Okay. We're where we need to be. The fissile fuel needs to be taken with sodium or water or chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you whatever you want to put in here, pretty much. We're doing water. With fissile fuel makes steam. We can use in a steam turbine. Or it makes nuclear waste. Bingo. That's what we need. With nuclear waste, you can put that into another isotopic centrifuge, which we have here. And make plutonium. Plutonium is needed with water. Th there's water in here. Makes fluoride dust. Makes plutonium pellet. Makes all this. But the main reason is um, polonium that we're making with water and a fluoride dust makes a polonium pellet, which is needed to create a bunch of different stuff including the mecha suit that could be really interesting but the one module we need the module here we need this solar recharging unit which is what we need these polonium pellets for yes okay what's next we have this whole setup now automated uh i'm gonna run through and put speed upgrades speed and energy and everything um this guy's pulling this hydrogen out because this also makes hydrogen, the oxygen, water, coal, make sulfur, also makes oxygen, or sorry, hydrogen. The hydrogen's then put into here. And then I have to get this to dump somehow. I don't know how to get this to dump. Um, we'll have to find a, a gas a gas bin. Is that a thing? Or what about um, refined storage? Is there... A gas drive? Is that such a thing? I know you have storage disks and fluid disks. What about an extra? Extra disks, we have fluid. Okay, we, we don't have a gas disk. <laughs> it was worth looking into, okay? We need to just scrap this. This is all garbage. Um, what are we out of here? Not enough room in output. Sulfur dioxide. Not enough to output because we need more oxygen. Need more of this to make more of this to make more of this to make more of this. So I'll be back when it's all fully upgraded and hopefully not exploding. Okay, we're back. We're fully upgraded. Okay, so it's working a hell of a lot better. Um, I don't know what we're doing with this. There's no option to dump. If we look at this guy, this main ultimate chemical tank, there's still there's still no option. Oh, right here, there's an option. Oh, look at that dumping excess. No shot. I'm just blind. <laughs> okay, so we're dumping this hydrogen. We're still getting it, but we're dumping it. We're getting fissile fuel. I had to add a chemical tank here because this was backed up back in this, back in this, back in this. It was all backed up. Anyways, producing oxygen. This is full. Um, this is full. This needs to get this. This can only go so fast. It doesn't look like it's running out of items though, which is good. I was worried with no speed upgrades in here that uh, this would run out of coal. This would run out of this. So, they're all fully upgraded with speed and energy. This is making the sulfur. We're good. We can speed this up by, you know, mass producing it. I don't think we need that. What is the next thing we need? We need uh, a ton of muffling upgrades, apparently. Which requires steel dust, surprisingly. Let's uh let's count the machines. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10. So that requires 10 muffling upgrades. Oh, we need some of these too. Okay. Let me get these fully upgraded this time. And then we're going to get into making um, the Fissile Reactor, I think it's called. So I'm going to gather all the required items for that. And then I will meet you guys back here. All right, guys. So if I'm understanding this right, it's raining. Oh, I don't want to do this outside in the rain. Damn. Big sad days. Okay, let's um move this over. We are going to do a fission reactor outside. We're going to make it 9x9, nine nine, and we also need to make a turbine, which is also going to be 9x9. Nine nine. Now, I don't know if it'll fit under here. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Okay. So, if we go something like this, we want 1, 2, 3, 4, five. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now this is, oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is actually pretty big. From what I understand, this can be 19 by, or 17 by 17. I believe it's the biggest so on in this size this is fairly big on its own uh, it's a weird pattern but yeah so two three four five six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Connect them up. Now, I literally just watched the most basic YouTube video on how to build it. So, this might not even work. Uh, we're about to find out. Now, I did make reactor glass. Um, something like this. I'm going to need to make a lot more stuff, obviously. Um... And I mean, the stuff is fairly easy to make. I mean, this late in the game, at least. I would not want to be making this stuff uh, early game. Those people doing those, uh, like, surviving with mod series, they're insane. So we'll go something like this, right? We want the reactor glass. Can I sleep yet? Yeah, get rid of this rain. Get out of my face. Alright, and then we want the reactor glass. I thought it would be... Um, nicer to have the reactor glass. Gives it a little bit more of a aesthetic pleasing property. Hopefully we have enough. Okay, looks like I made a little bit too much, but that's okay. So we want something like this. 
Let's, let's break this down here so we don't turn this into a multi-block with me inside. We'll probably end up dying if that happens. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm... What's with the... The patterns are weird. The textures are breaking. Alright, so the control rod assemblies... You gotta make them in a checkerboard like this. How many more do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 more of those. And those were these. So we need 19. Oh, nice. I totally forget all the time that I have creative flight. Modern Minecraft is something. Okay. Boom. Now with that, we have to put these fission rod fuels. Something like this. How many of these takes? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many of those do we have? We got one, two, three, four, and then eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if we do some math, as in my calculator is going to do math, we need how many per? One, two, three, four, five, six. So. 25 times 6 equals 150. We need 150 of these, which means we have to make some of these. So, I am way too lazy for all that. Look at all this experience this absorption hopper isn't collecting. This is where I keep getting all my levels, by the way. Um, okay, what are we doing? Wanna craft that means we gotta auto craft that. And we need hundred and fifty. Okay. And instead of me manually handcrafting all that, we got sixty six there. Is that still going? It is. It's having to make steel. I requested a bunch of steel. <laughs> That's why this number is so big. And because it has to do all this. So, it's enriching iron, it's iron, okay. Is that any better? <laughs> oh man. Making a lot of stuff. Stuff and things. Sixty-four steel does make sixty-four steel ingots. I think we want one to one. Is it not getting any in? Oh no, you know what's happening. 
That's enriched iron to steel dust. Oh, yeah. So what the hell is going on here? Steel dust to... What the shit? Should still be making it. Look, that's a lot of steel dust coming in. You're telling me this isn't smelting anything? Hello? Let's cancel that. And cancel that. This is working, but... Is it really, though? Okay. Regardless, we'll keep on keeping on. Let's go. It'll finish when it finishes. So. Obviously, we're going to place them down like so. You get the point. I'll be right back. All right. So, I just finished placing all of them i still have a bunch left over and now you can see here is our thing now we're not going to click activate that is not what we're going to do we want we want to sink yeah from the sink we want i put ways i pull an input i guess we want input we want a mechanical pipe. Mechanical pipe does fluids. Connects there. Then we want to set this to supply. As you can see, we're pumping in a hell of a lot of water. Perfect. Then we want to get the fissile fuel from in here to here. Um, how do we want to do that? Do I want to go through the wall? I mean, I really don't. It's power. Here we go. break that lose all of our progress but it's okay because we ain't need to turn the thing on yet boom click it again we're now getting fissile fuel and we're also getting coolant um we're also just gonna toss that guy here for now Apparently, we can't extract out of this. Is that what that's saying? We want to extract out of this into here. We have a... Oh, man. What a mess. What a mess.
I don't know how to... Well, I guess we're running around with, like, a shit ton of, uh, pistol fuel. There we go. Nope. Oh, damn. It just did it all at once. Figured it out. This boy is full of fissile fuel, full of coolant. And do I dare? Yeah, no. Because even if we do, we have nowhere to put the steam going in. I don't know what happened to my blocks out here. I don't know. I have always been like that. I don't even know. So, next step is we have a fission reactor. Look at this thing. Look at this dude. This is a big dude. Okay. The next step do 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 is a steam turbine which is nothing compared to this fission reactor we're gonna do it this episode because i want it all done in one episode we'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen we are ending things here um i just checked the recording length and it's way longer than i want the episodes to actually be um, I like to keep them around 30, 40 minutes. I don't think we should hit an hour every single episode. That kind of, eh. So, um, next episode, we will build the steam turbine. And with the steam turbine, I guess we'll get into further making the polonium pellets. Because we only need that, but we need somewhere for the steam to go. Something like that. So, we will figure that out in the next episode. Peace. I'll see you there.